This is day seven, and normally we have a rest principle. However, we're going to finish the entire story of Joseph this next week. So on this rest principle, it's a little bit different today because we're going to look at Joseph and how he felt. See, the cupbearer could have helped Joseph. The cupbearer needed Joseph's help at one point, and Joseph chose to step in to help. And then when Joseph needed the cupbearer back, the cupbearer completely forgot about him. Isn't that how we feel many times? We feel that, you know what, I've done all this stuff for God. I've helped him out in so many ways. I've taught, I've shared his scripture. I have talked about him in areas. I've gone out to reach out to people. I've gone on mission trips. I've been to camps. I've loved people. I've done this over and over and over and over and over and over. I hear nothing from God. It's as if he has forgotten about me. My challenge for you today is would you take a look at not the cupbearer and not the baker today, but look at yourself. Let's look at right here. Let's look in the mirror and let's look at who we are and whose we are. Because it's easy to feel as though we are being forgotten. It's easy to feel as though we've been put aside or been shelved. But at the end of the day, just because you can't hear from God doesn't mean that he is not there. And the story that we get from Joseph and the moral of this over and over and over is that it's a big God that we serve. But at the same time, even though we feel that many times we can't hear from him, it doesn't mean that he is not there. Would you take some time tonight and just rest with him and rest in him and just seek him over and over and over again. And we'll finish the story on Joseph starting tomorrow.